Well, that is an awesome find. The size of that thing. It's massive. I just run the tape up on it too, and it came out at 29. Actually, 25 finishes there, so I might have actually run it a bit short. Run it again. Let's see if we can get stretch it on there. Now, 25 finishes there. So, if I put it up from there, we've got just over four and a half inches. So that's 29 and a half inch. What a find. What a find. I'm going to have to do a good search around here and see if I can find the other one. Just walk along the game trail. I've actually just finished my morning hunt down there. I saw a nice day, but I couldn't get him on camera. He was too quick. And just walking along and all I saw was that white. Just that white tip there. And it's just unbelievable. Look at the size of that thing. It looks solid in my head. Unreal. Now, a little message for you guys always going, oh, stretch the tape, you know, stretch the tape, make it look longer. Do you know what happens if you stretch the tape? So say your antler was 25 and you stretch the tape, what's going to happen? It's going to make it look smaller, isn't it? It's going to be 24 or 23. So it's not stretching the tape. It's just not stretching the tape, I guess. You don't want to stretch the tape. But that is legit. 29, just over 29 inch antler. Sick, sick find. Look how big are those brows on it? That's right. 15 inch brows. That's a pretty sick animal. If this one was better, it would push towards the 200. But well, he's not going to get that, but it's sensational. What a find. Well, it's only 10 o'clock, so I'll spend a little bit of time looking for the other one. If there's another day, I'll have to do it. Insane. Now, in contrast to the other little antler I found as well not long ago, this one is, it looks like it's been sitting there for quite a long time. The sun's really done its work on it. It's starting to crack a tiny bit there. So, um, I'd say this animal, this, is, this has been dropped at least a year ago, so it's definitely not in last season. I've seen before, and it was underneath the log as well. So, you know, it's either one or two years been sitting there so this if I could find this deer right now he'd be starting to regress or he would be a bloody monster so if he's 29 there he's going to be going over 30 for sure and that is exciting yes okay so while I'm looking for this antler while I'm looking for this antler um, it should be noted, like I found that other antler, what, four weeks ago, same location, and it would have been, what, 40 metres away, that little one. Now, pretty much tells me, there's something that we've got to note here about hunting this area, that the deer are coming up here at the end of their cycle and dropping their antlers, so this is telling me the deer are going to be here at that time. Probably, if we're looking at these antlers of when they probably, I'm estimating they dropped in probably December. It's a good time to be hunting them here. It would probably be November. Now, I came to this area because in these conditions, this is where I reckon the deer would be. And, um, yeah, you just got to, it's always good to take note of every trip you go on whenever you're hunting. You always learn something. Just remember that you've learned something. Every time you've gone, pick up what's going on and um, try and take notice of everything. If you see a deer, make note of it. The day, the weather, which side of the face he was on, what's going on, why he was there, just put two and two together. Eventually you'll have an idea 
of, uh, of why the deer are there and then you'll uh, you'll be able to anticipate uh, likely spots where they're going to be so um, I'm going to keep looking for this antler for a little while and hopefully it turns up but it's not exactly the easiest bush to look around in well finding that antler's going to be harder than I thought um, in the past I have found the second antler but most of the time, like one of the times the antler was like 60 metres away and I was really lucky to find it and because that one's old it's also going to be underneath all the bracken and stuff it's going to be really, really hard to find and uh, I would bust and I go to the toilet so I might have to go, that's another good tip for you guys do not go to the toilet in your hunting area if you can help it if you, if you need to, you need to dig your hole as deep as you can before you go because that is probably the maximum scent you could put in your area and the deer in that area are not going to hang around. I can guarantee it. That that smell will be smell. You can smell it. So imagine what they can smell. You know, it's a, it's. I've, I've proved it to be an issue uh, in the past where I've, I haven't seen deer in the area for a while. So you know, if you need to go get up morning, go before you go out. Really good tip. You know, if uh, I wasn't walking slow looking for those antlers on the way back, I wouldn't have spotted that snake. He was just coming right up on the track, right in front of me. A lot more than you think can be found from finding antlers. For example, this one was found like that right in the centre of the game trail. Now, I'm, 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 this is definitely not last season's. This is definitely probably more like easy, easier year, so it could even be a second season antler. Now, that tells me, basically because this was found on the game trail itself, there literally hasn't been anyone else walking that game trail. Well, no serious hunters that know what they're doing, because serious hunters will be looking all the, all the time, not just for antlers, but mainly for deer sign, and you'd pick up some something like this pretty easy. So, it's amazing, like, the whole process of deer hunting, you know, it's not all just about finding the deer and then killing it, you just, uh, there's a lot more to it. And there's a lot of little things like this, which sort of, which sort of set up your day, you know, to know what's going on. So now I know the deer in this area, and I know that there's not many people, or pretty much no one been here in a year down in that area that I was hunting which is sensational.